Hi and welcome to 3D Print Passion. If you also want to have a BL touch in your genius, you are absolutely right in this video. I decided to install BN Touch on my genius. Why? I want to have the possibility to change my print bed regularly. There are many different materials and so that makes absolutely sense. Also, the leveling will slightly different on different bed and nozzle temperatures, a problem which can be fixed with a BL Touch. The firmware update I show you is based on Marlin 1.19. The reason why I decided to have not Marlin 2.x is very simple. The Genius do have a 8-bit mainboard. Under special circumstances, this board could be on high CPU load during printing with Marlin 2.x. X and BL Touch. That will have effects in the print quality. All the files you need will be below in the section under the video. So you need to download all of that files. Let's have a look how it works. The used firmware will be used for the BL Touch, need to be compiled by yourself. For that reason, you need Visual Studio Code. So you need to download this software plus the plugin and also the firmware, download and install. So you go to that little funny face, the PO project, go to Open Platform IO projects and uh, select the downloaded firmware. You open that you open the complete folder and now the software will be imported and now you need to be a little bit patient. That could take, I don't know, a few seconds, maybe a minute. So as soon you are ready with the import of that firmware, you can push to the button below, the compile button, and the software will be compiled and built. And it takes around, depending to your speed of the computer, maybe maximum five minutes. During the compiling process, there will be shown sometimes uh, yellow lines, but uh, you can ignore them. That's only warnings, not alert and they will not have any effect to the compiling process. I show you. Now you can um, find the compiled firmware in the path I show you. Of course, it's depending to your username on your computer, so you need uh, yeah, to adapt that part. And the firmware is named firmware.hex. And that software we will need to flash the mainboard later. So everything's prepared. Let's go to the next step. The installation of the BL Touch hardware side is very, very simple. You need to print some parts also below the video. And there is also the slider in that links plus the fan duct and so on. So I propose to print that parts before. And like I said, the installation is very, very simple. You take away the fan, put on the new fan duct and screw the fan against the fan duct and everything will be fine. Now you only need to place the BL touch. Hope you can see that well. The distance between the BL touch and the nozzle need to be minus three, maximum minus five millimeters. Because um, if the BL touch will start, the needle will go into the direction of the heat bed, and as soon the heat bed will be touched, it flips in again. The cables will be placed very simple. You see here on the little plate that uh, there is already a description for it, and you need to place the cable exactly like they are written here. Make sure that it's really the right direction. So white, black, yellow, orange and brown. And that's it. Nothing more to do. The hardware installation is done. So 
now I like to flash the display first and the SD card need to be 16 gigabyte or less that's very necessary else um, the card will not work in the Atelier Genius. Now you need to choose the BL Touch firmware and yeah I have decided for the MKS BLT setup display and you select everything copy it and yeah place it on the SD card. Now you place the SD card inside the Atelier Genius and power on. Yeah, as next the uh, flashing process will be started. That process needs around one or two minutes and I will let it run in real speed so that you have a feeling how long it will take and if you do the same and maybe you have the feeling that something is freezing, uh, you see exactly how long it should take. So the flash process is done and the display will reboot. That's the new home display for your Atelier Genius. And you see here the temperature menu, the move menu. Here's the homing menu. Here's the SD card print menu, extrusion, the manual bed leveling still available and there are the settings which are still more or less the old ones and more is completely new and here you see also the pit tuning which is absolutely necessary to start with and that will take a few minutes um, that will take really a while you should be a little bit patient and if it's done you click on save EPROM um, to make sure that the pit tuning is stored on your, yeah, on your memory of the printer and that the nozzle and bed temperature will be calibrated. So if you don't know if it's finished or not, give it time. Uh, give it a half an hour or something like that. It take not so long, of course. It take around, I don't know, five minutes, maximum ten minutes. And um, if the bed is cool, then you know everything's finished. So now we need to flash the main board and very, very necessary on that point is please um, disconnect the power supply. That's very, very necessary. It's very dangerous to work on the printer with a plug-in power supply. So take away the power supply, please. You see here also the cables going into the power supply. Don't touch them. There could be still power on it. Don't open the power supply here and don't touch anything on that area. So now you need to disconnect this cable from the display. Um, very often it's glued with a little bit warm air or a sharp knife. You can take away that glue and uh, yeah, please don't forget to take that cable away. If not, you will have uh, a lot of problems afterwards. Now connect the USB cable to your printer 
Also make sure that the cable, the power supply cable is still disconnected. So I have plugged in now the other side of the cable to my computer. If the computer is not able to find this USB port, please have a look to the area below the video. I have placed there the needed driver to install on your computer. This one you only need to download, install and reboot your Windows. So the flash process is, will be done with Cura. Yeah, you go to the printer, manage printer, update firmware, upload custom firmware, select the firmware you like to upload, the one we already have compiled the firmware.hex so and now the updating firmware process has been started and you see in the picture below that the printer is doing nothing during that time don't touch anything don't take out the cables be patient and wait a little bit so Firmware update is successfully done. We can close this window now. Another thing you need to uh, make sure is go to manage printers and search for the G code G28. And below that G28, you need to place G29 in plus. With G29, the printer will always level the bat every time a print will start. Okay, so now we can plug in this play again, make sure that is the right direction, make, uh, if needed, uh, make your short mark in the beginning before you plug out this cable. Um, the socket is a little bit bigger than the cable itself, so make very, very sure that you find the good direction and that it's placed on all the pins correctly. So we can close now the cover again. Let's go to the next point. Now I will heat up the printer to printing temperature on nozzle and uh, heat bed. And uh, that temperature is already reached here. And now we start on the leveling. So I will click on start set offset. Now he's doing homing. Be careful at the first time. Touch your switch on the power supply. Um, to make sure that uh, on the first homing um, the nozzle will not crash into your heat bed if you have something not completely correct mounted. If it really crashes into the heat bed, make sure that the BL touch is uh, not too high mounted on the new fan duct. I take here a very thin metal plate, but you of course can take a piece of paper like you always level and to change the distance you push the buttons move up move down and if you have the perfect distance then you click to save apron and the leveling is done but make sure that your bed is also mechanically leveled before because the bl touch can not compensate very wrong leveled bed so it need to be inside a special distance so if you level your bed first manually mechanically and afterwards with the leveling system i have showed you then everything should be fine so let's check if it works i have placed uh, on a sd card a benji and we will see if that will be a success or not. Now some, now a few words, <clears throat> now a few words about um, the reason for that video is only um, for genius, or now a few words about the 
Genius and the Beetle Touch itself. This video is only for Genius. The reason why? Um, only the Genius do have that connecting plate to uh, connect the BL Touch on hardware side to it. Uh, the Utley Sidewinder is very different to connect. And you need also to know that the Sidewinder did have a different bed size and that will not work with the display commands and with the leveling uh, system which is programmed in that firmware. So this video is, in my opinion, not something for absolutely newbie. You should be already a little bit experienced in 3D printing uh, that you will be able to help yourself. Um, this is not a firmware from the manufacturer. This is a firmware placed uh, on GitHub, which is modified uh, by a private person. Um, yeah. And so there is no support or something like that, of course. So if you do this installation, um, you will not have any warranty or something like that. It's on your own risk completely. So, and now have a quick look to the printed Banji. And that's a completely standard profile, nothing is um, configured. It's really completely the standard profile in Cura. And I think if you look that, it looks not too bad. Of course, it, it needs a little bit fine tuning, but it's already a very good beginning, isn't it? So that's it from my side for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like to see more videos from me, then uh, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell that you will be notified if I upload a new video. Thank you very much. Happy printing and see you next time. Bye.